Hey guys, welcome back for a new video. In today's lesson video, we're going to be learning this broken blast beat. You just watched me perform the verse section from my cover of the song Dark Days by Parkway Drive. The version you watched me perform and the version you're going to be learning today are slightly different. The reason for this is I played a slight variation from what's recorded on the actual track for my cover. And in today's lesson, we're going to be playing note for note exactly what's played on the original song. With that out of the way, let's get to defining what exactly a blast beat is so that we can break it. A blast beat is a drum beat that originated in hardcore punk and grindcore and is often associated with certain styles of extreme metal, namely black metal, death metal, and occasionally metalcore. As an example of this could be holding eighth notes in unison between the right and the left hand on two different elements. Now to break this pattern, what I'm going to add is melody to the right hand, creating 16th notes in between the eighth notes. The key here is really going to be taking the time to memorize the pattern. Let's play the melody hand together at a very slow tempo, just the single limb, and we'll start to introduce the other limb in layers. The next thing I want to do is increase the tempo. Follow along with me. We're closing in on the track tempo just before we take it all the way up. I would suggest you go back to this timestamp and loop the pattern by yourself a few more times. Get to the point where you don't need to look at the screen to know what's coming next in the pattern. Let's take it up to full speed now. Getting as comfortable as possible with the right hand playing this melody and perhaps without even having to look at the screen is going to make it a lot easier to add the left hand. Assuming you're at that point, let's add the left hand at a slower controlled tempo. Now we are going to move up in tempo. As you're practicing this pattern along with me, the real focus needs to be no flam. Try and make it so that both sticks are coming down in unison with no distance between the tones. You want this, you don't want to hear this. I've been using throughout this lesson a French grip in my right hand and a German or American variation in my left hand. If these grip type terms are new to you, I definitely suggest checking out my lesson on grip types and how they work and how to perform them at the kit. The French grip is going to be the fastest, but also the lightest grip. That's why I'm using it in my right hand. Then I've turned my hand open for where it will be coming down on the hi-hat when we actually get to playing on the full kit. But of course, before we get to the full kit, we got to take it up to full tempo with the two hands here at the pad. So let's do that now. Hey 
If you're enjoying this lesson or perhaps you're new to drums, I wanted to let you know about Drumio. This channel is proudly partnered with Drumio to bring you lessons like the one you're watching. As well, Drumio itself is a website in which you can go to access thousands of pre-recorded lesson videos in their online lesson database. Aside from lessons, they as well have a huge catalog of song transcriptions. So you can go and pick a song and learn it by just simply reading the transcription in time with the actual music. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced player looking to push yourself outside of your comfort zone, check out Drumio. Use my link, drumeo.com slash Wyattstab to get the first 30 days completely free. The trickiest part now when moving into the full kit is gonna be syncing up the feet with the hands playing the pattern above. Because the feet are playing 16th notes and the dominant subdivision up top is eighth notes, the right foot is going to sync up with both hands coming down, whereas the left foot will only sync up with the right hand when moving out of eighth notes going up to 16th to create the melody. Let's play this together nice and slow, introducing the feet. If you found that difficult, something you can do is go back to the pad, drop the left hand, and get used to playing 16th notes straight on the feet with the broken melody on the snare drum with the right hand. You can loop that from earlier in the lesson at this timestamp. However, if you got that down, then let's up the tempo a little bit and really kick in the memorization. Because we memorized the right hand from before, there should be no real challenge when moving up in tempo. The tricky part is just gonna be focusing on keeping everything coming down in unison, nice and sticky. We don't want any flamming between the kick drum, the snare drum, or the hi-hat. real focus going into this next section is dialing in the grips. At least it was for me personally. I had to make sure that I had a very strict, very in control French grip in my right hand in order to make the bursts of three as quick and even as possible. That's what I personally struggled with, was just the speed itself. When moving up in tempo in any concept at the drum set, but in particular what we're talking about here in blast beats, smaller in control movements are key. If we have loose, sloppy hands that are moving around the snare drum and the grip's kind of all over the place and you're wasting energy in trying to get back to the grip every time you reset the stick. So we want small, in control, efficient movements in order to get up to this tempo. Let's hit 130 together and finish off this lesson. Thanks for checking out this lesson video. I really hope you enjoyed and took something away from it that you can work on in your own practicing, or perhaps now you are inspired to learn the rest of this song. I have to say when learning this track, the most difficult part was getting down the memorization in the right hand for this section that you just learned. So I strongly encourage you, go check out Dark Days by Parkway Drive, and you can probably breeze through learning the rest of the sections. I have a cover here on the channel. If it's easier to watch the drummer than just listen to the track, maybe you can check that out when learning this song. Huge thank you to my Patreon family for making all of my videos possible. As well, thank you to our partner, Drumeo. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson once again. Thank you so much, and I will see you all very soon with something new.